Hey guys, I'm back with another PvP tips video, and today we're going to be talking about audio cues in relation to PvP. Sea of Thieves is a game that has a ton of little sound effects or noises that you have to pay attention to if you want to be decent at PvP. So I'm going to start out by going over the basic kind of obvious ones and then move on to some more subtle noises. So hopefully this will help you up your game a bit. Like I said, we're going to go over some of the more obvious ones, and we're going to start with the musical cue that happens when you land a shot on another ship. This can be a good way to tell if you're landing your hits through a wave or at long range. Now, if you don't hear the musical cue when firing your cannon, but instead you just hear a loud thud and then the noise it makes when you kill a player, that means you just one-balled someone. You hit them dead on with a cannonball or a blunder bomb, and they're now dead. Now, this one you hopefully know, but this is the sound it makes when you kill another player. This sound means that they are out of the fight, they're done, and you don't have to worry about them anymore. Another really obvious one, but very important, is the sound it makes when you have a hole in your ship. This sound can differ in volume depending on where the hole is at, but regardless, there's water flooding into your ship, so you're going to have to go bucket and repair very soon. Up next is fire. This is one that's pretty easy to hear, but if left unattended, it can get a bit out of control and get you distracted during a fight. Next is the sound of your mass breaking. This is one that you can easily see just by the visuals, but if you're below deck, you really need to listen for this because if you hear it, you need to stop what you're doing and go catch your mass and prevent it from falling down as soon as possible. Same goes for this next one. If you are below deck and you hear your anchor, that means someone has boarded you and you are about to get into a fight, so get ready. One of the most important noises is this noise right here, the death groan of your ship. When the water gets too high, your ship will make a loud, creaky noise. That means it is about to sink and you need to go bucket right now. And if you didn't manage the bucket fast enough, or if you're sinking another player's ship, shortly afterwards you'll hear the little ding noise that means the ship has sunk. So this means that you can't access any of the supplies or use the cannons anymore, so you should probably move on. Now this next noise is one that you've probably heard before, but you didn't necessarily know what it was. If you zoom in on an emissary with your spyglass, and that's a boat that's flying an emissary flag from a certain faction, a little musical stinger will play to let you know that it is in fact an emissary. So this can be great when you don't have really good visuals, such as when the boat's in a storm or something similar. Now this noise, as I've said in many other videos, is extremely important, especially if you're chasing another ship. You need to listen for other players' mermaids. This is the noise that happens if someone's about to board your ship, and so you need to get to ladder guarding ASAP if you hear this. So if you miss the mermaid, this is the sound you're going to hear next, and that is someone swimming and then making a splash as they grab your ladder. The splash noise can vary a good bit, especially if they try and do a silent board. So I'm going to play two clips here, one of the normal splash sound and one that just kind of sounds like water moving around a little bit. So you really have to listen for this stuff. Thank you. 
Now this is a noise you probably know, but this is the sound of a keg being lit. And if you hear this on your ship, that means bad things are probably about to happen. But stay calm, and if they drop it, you can pick it up and defuse it really quickly. Or if they are definitely going to blow it up, just be calm, don't jump off your ship, let it happen, and then immediately start repairing. Now this one's a bit more situational, but if you hear the charge up sound of a lunge for the sword and you're near an enemy player, you might want to be sure to jump out of the way as best you can. Now I'm going to go over the sound each weapon makes when you swap to it. These are very subtle, but they can give you a good idea of what type of fight you're about to have. Now the Eye of Reach has an additional sound you need to listen for, and that is when someone zooms in with the scope. This usually means you're about to get quick scoped, so if you hear this, it might already be too late, but if not, try and dodge whatever shot is coming your way. Now after you've killed a player, it's always possible that one of their crewmates is going to revive them, so this is the sound you need to listen for, because if you hear this, you either need to try to lunge both of them, or throw some blunder bombs, or do something to prevent them from rezzing. Okay, that's it for me today. I give away exclusive in-game items every Wednesday and occasionally have Twitch drops on my stream over at twitch.tv slash blurbs. As always, if you have any other questions or you just want to come hang out, please feel free to stop by. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.